walk in the neighborhood. Um, I ask uh, Department of Neighborhoods to, you know, uh, reach out to the neighborhood so the neighbor community leaders can point out to me whatever, whatever the issues are. I ask staff, like we have D, uh, DPD, uh, Planning and Development, and SDOT here so that, you know, eliminate the middleman, maybe build, maybe start building some relationships as well, um, so that we're in a better position to be responsive if there are specific things we, we learn about. Um, I know we got a few things on the agenda, um, and, and maybe it's been organized in advance. As we're walking from place to place, it's a good time to talk to me, so, but make sure everybody gets a turn. And uh, Sol here is with me too, so Sol will keep track of any other follow-up items that come out of it. And we kind of, this was kind of last minute, we squeezed it in. I, I, I just did our safe communities meeting down in the South Precinct. Um, and then I'm gonna go down and uh, meet some folks further south, but I had, I had this hour and a half, so I, I asked DON, can we do something on the way? And they picked here and, and you guys. So thank DON for uh, uh, creating this connection for us. Thank you, Mayor. So I'd like to turn it over now to David Whiten, who is the president of the uh, Admiral Neighborhood Association, and he'll be guiding it. Okay. Well, thanks for, I really like to thank the Mayor uh, and the Department of Neighborhoods for uh, selecting Admiral District uh, for doing a walking tour today. Greatly appreciate the weather. Uh, and uh, what we wanted to do was uh, not necessarily do a sightseeing tour, the historical things here, but really sort of things that are examples of where the community and the city have been working together. Uh, and we want to look at a couple different timelines. Here at Safeway is sort of a finished product. This Safeway was remodeled about two years ago with a great deal of citizen input. There were five design review uh, Yikes. Commission. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. The result, though, I think was great. One that we sort of feel pretty good about in terms of there's a lot more glass on the front, this vision glass. Uh, the architect was helpful on that. We also were able to put in, make certain that we increase the number of entrances. There's five entrances on, on the store. And uh, we also rearranged the orientation of the video store for you know these types of things that help the, the glass for the entrances. The other unique thing about this previous site was is there was an alley vacation because in the, in the southeast corner there were two private homes and an alley behind them. When that private that private uh, entity took over that public space in that alley, we got some sort of improvements that were uh, incorporated with that. These historical lamp posts that you see here, yeah. the, they went ahead and marched those all the way down to the intersection for us, so nice. that there's some you know some imagery. This fit, this this uh, bench here coordinates with the bench that we at the neighborhood association had in place around the corner, around with the Flower Lab and Wells Fargo. So we sort of bring a little more you know, of a continent to our streetscape. The other big thing is, as we'll see when we cross the street over here and head towards South Lander, is that the crosswalk that was put in here for making it a very visible crosswalk for motorists to take to the school and the crossing guards, is there's a rosette there that's in the cement. There is a similar one on the back corner that we're not going to pass for people going from the um, Safeway and the apartment buildings in the back unit over to the High Wall at the park, which is an Olmstead Park. So there was a great deal of you know positive things that came out of this, this outcome. This is the positive timeline at the end of it. Um, we're also going to look at a couple of pro projects that's going to be the very beginning stages of that, of that uh, design review process. The proposed apartments down at uh, 3210 California which is, we're not going to physically go there, but we're going to have a couple of neighbors who are kind of concerned about that in terms of what to expect because of the up zone of that, that area that took place two years ago. We're then going to look at a project at Lafayette, and the PTA is working on that, which is sort of in their mid-stage. They've got some of their resources and their funding, and they're looking to get over the hump and complete it. Got it. And at the end, we're going to look at the crossing at 47th, uh, Admiral, which is a pedestrian crossing that is sort of in that stage of uh, inertia. We haven't really, we've been working on it for a long time and we can't really get further. Uh, okay. It's a safety issue. So that's kind of what we have in mind. Got it. Sound good? You guys did better on your Safeway than uh, I did in Greenwood on mine. And we know I'll the mayor started on, uh, in a community council I was the Greenwood Community Council president. I actually appealed that Safeway permit. Um, and we got a few concessions out of it, which were important. But uh, 
So the mayor can endorse that the idea of community councils and neighborhood associations Pushing hard on new development to so get a good outcome for the neighborhood. In the Admiral District, let you, I'll let you know that uh, our meetings are the second Tuesday of the month. <laughs> <laughs> there are homemade cookies available, and we uh, welcome you to All attend those. All politics is local, and if That's you ain't right. engaged, you can't complain. So get on down to the meeting. So yeah, <laughs> second Tuesday of the month, the announcements are on the blog. So with that... Okay. Carl? I just want to say that's what we're doing with that uh, sign-in sheet. Uh, if you're interested in becoming more involved in your community, uh, that's what we do. Please sign in and we will contact you. And thank you very much for showing up on this uh, Chamber of Commerce Day. <laughs> so again, this is, a, this is a positive outcome and a final project. Kurt uh, was not available. He was the manager for the store. And Gregory looks like he's pretty busy. I will say that the apartment units on the back, the 78 apartment units. I talked with the property manager. She said all but three are vacant. So I'm sorry, all but three are occupied. So they're they're pretty leased up there. Uh, so the second consideration or opportunity we're coming up was the 3210 California. So uh, Joellen, would you like to make sure. your comments about that? So like David said, it's at the beginning stages, um, and we just. We think it's an opportunity for. Uh, Tell me about the site. Okay, the site <laughs> is. It's 100 by 450 feet. It's on a 26 foot slope grade. It's got a, a budding to it. It's got uh, single family homes behind it. 11 will be uh, affected by the project. No alleyway. There's no alleyway at all for the and project. And what is the proposed project? It's a uh, 190 apartment project in one structure. It's uh, about 450 feet long. It's 60 feet tall. In a about 75 feet tall with the elevators. Uh, How do they get? To 60 if it's a 40 foot zone. Based on the average grade. Uh, They're going some average grade. It. Their baseline grade is at 13 uh, feet above California Avenue. Got it. Because of, the, because of the steep grades. Yeah. Got it. And is it strictly an apartment building or, yes. is, there, or is it mixed there use? There is four, four units of live work. At, which on the ground level. I would argue are not particularly commercially engaging with the street or much more private. In, and where is it in the process? Um, early design guidance is set for April 11th. Got it. Got it. And then the neighborhood and the prime neighborhood concerns are what at the moment? Just you the, told me one, how it relates to the street. Just the bulk and scale compared to the rest of the neighborhood. Yeah. Got it. Also for traffic as well, uh, there's no alleyway, so all the cars, 190 cars. And it enter and exit off of California. California. And any service vehicles also have to access versus California. And it's right next to the high school, West Yale High School. So there is a lot of, like, I don't know, pedestrian. It's two blocks down, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we blocking your way or you're just no, joining we're in now? Got it. Okay. So, those are the things. Okay. So, we're all for having the land available. We're all, like, I live in an urban, infill, right. modern home that's two, you know, two properties on one lot there. But we're just for something that fits into the scale of the neighborhood. I think four stories might fit in better than a five story building. And something that's truly mixed use for an yeah. urban walkable, walkable. Yeah, it's been a challenge. Uh, when you mentioned the live work units, it's been a challenge. What we've heard is that, you know, there's so much demand for retail, and oftentimes those shallow retail spaces never actually work. Right. And so a lot of I've heard a lot of places have done the live work. I'd be interested to hear how that live work has worked out. Right. You know, so down the, so, I'm, I relate to my own neighborhood only because I, I did. As the community council president there, um, I remember we permitted some work, live work units at the ground floor of some new apartment buildings for the same reason. Nobody was going to rent them for retail. In fact, we have a number of apartments that have the ground floor retail which have never, never been rented since they've been built a decade ago. You know, that you can tell. So, I'd be interested to see how that, how that works out. Or what the great, you know, or if there are other treatments <laughs> at the street level. Some places do a great job with doing residential at street level and it, and it works so okay so, yeah. just observations I'm just you know you guys have the design review process mm -hmm. next mm -hmm. yeah but you know we thought we'd take the opportunity to just Thank you. bring it up and get your comments and we want to do everything we can you know, in the design review process and outside of it if we can I think the outcome for this building will be a model for like all the blocks have been up zoned down in that area. And this, so this is the, this first, will be the first structure yeah. in this up zoned area. So we want to make sure that what happens with this project is the model for the rest of the follow on.
<laughs> okay, let's take an opportunity to go ahead and report on it at some point. Okay, thank you.